And Auckland companies cashing in on a mystery disease that's causing havoc for America's huge potato chip industry. Its technology is helping eliminate black blemishes, spoiling the look of the popular snack. The average American eats more than seven kilograms of chips a year, supporting an industry worth six billion US dollars. So when some chips started going black, chip makers sent suspect potatoes back to growers. This customer we're working with, they can have anything up to 10-15% of their crop affected. The problem's called zebra chip, and it's already cost Midwest potato growers more than $20 million. And while scientists desperately try to find the cause, an Auckland company has won a multi-million dollar deal to make sure American chips look good. Taste technology uses light from a spectrometer to look inside the potato and identify blemishes so that dodgy spuds can be rejected before they're chipped. So we're measuring which wavelengths have been absorbed by the potato, which wavelengths have transmitted through it. Taste technology is part of Compaq, which began grading kiwi fruit 20 years ago. Its precision systems can now sort fruit and vegetables by size, shape, weight, colour, even taste. Equipment's been exported to 22 countries so far, and one giant Californian packhouse has 40 compact lanes, sorting 24,000 fruit a minute. Sales have grown 80% over the past two years to around $45 million, and the technology's getting more and more refined. Uh, they have problems with the avocados, you know, getting technology that can identify the rocks within avocado. So there's many new areas that we can work into, move into, which are going to help the consumer in buying a better product. And as pack houses become more automated, growers could get to the stage where they no longer face the problem of importing seasonal labour.